Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a look at this. We're not doing a review on this. I'll explain why in a minute. This is the Fury B Stormer 220. It's been out ages now. Uh, as you can see, it's hardly been flown. I've had it a long time. The reason I've hardly flown it is it, it doesn't really do anything special. It just flies. It flies nice enough, but there's not enough power really. And it's just quite an average drone because mainly because of these motors so these motors on here are 2306 i don't know if you can see that 2306 2200 kb the problem is it'll only run on a 4s battery and these motors just aren't the right motor it should have i don't know maybe 22 2206 20 uh, 3000 or 2900 something like that on and it'd have more punch but it's a nice enough thing it flies well so what I've decided to do is modify it. So I bought this. This is the Flywheel Mr. Croc non-HD frame. So this is the HD that I built and you've probably seen the video by now. I hope you have. Um, the only difference is now I've put the this on it. I've put the um, Osmo Action Cam on the front of it. So this is the one I've already built. This is got the DJI gear in. The frame is identical. So if you are looking at buying this frame, this one's cheaper. You might as well buy this one and just modify the camera mount because the frame's identical. The only difference is you don't get these parts, but as I found out from people on Banggood and stuff and comments, they've not got them in their kit. They haven't bothered contacting Flywheel, but they do not come in their kit. So they should do. They just package it wrong. So I bought this frame, this is about £28 I think for this frame and I had a spare one of these because they sent me all the kit again so this is exactly the same as the camera mount for this. Now I don't know if I'm fitting this camera mount because we're going to fit a Cadix Tarsier V2 inside here. So the V2 is going to mount straight onto the board here, the board's going to mount on there and then the camera's going to, sorry you can't see that can you? It's got a front mounting stack as you can see for 20, we're going to put that in here at the front and we're going to fit the Cadix. What I don't know is if there'll be enough clearance after I put the Cadix in uh, for this. Uh, I don't think there is, I think it's going to be too tight in here. Have a look. Well, it might be alright, we might get away with that or we might just cut this bottom bit out a bit. But either way, we'll do something about that. So that's what it's going to fit in. So the Cadix is going to go inside here and we're going to do a straight swap over. So we're going to do all this metal work off this very, very heavy frame. There's another problem with this frame, it's stupidly heavy because of all the steel or aluminium. So we're going to take all that off, we're going to unmount it this way and we're going to try and unbolt it so everything just comes off and fits straight on top of that stack. And it should actually do this. This is completely bound and set up on beta flight. So in theory, once we've done that, it should just fly. Hmm, might have to adjust the pins a bit. I'll take these props off. These are Johnny FPV freestyle props I put on here to try and make it fly a bit better. Uh, we might actually leave them on and give them a go on here. So it, that's what we're going to do. So this part, this video is going to be about swapping these bits over and then I'll keep coming back to you when I've done another bit. If this doesn't work at the end of this we're going to swap out these motors and put the fly wound in motors on. Probably something very similar to these ones that I've got on there, these are 23 or 6, we'll probably put the 22 or 7s they do we'll do 23 or 7s on this to see if it flies, to make it better but it might fly well with these motors and this, remember all this is going to be because I've built this in dead cat variety, is going to be a it's virtually going to get me cinematic footage, that's what I'm building it for I should have mentioned on the other video I think I did about this frame, you can put these frames in four different configurations by, that's why they've got extra boat holes, so you can put the arms, so you can have true X, you can have extended X, etc, etc, or hybrid, so you can do that and have it any way you want, I obviously built this so I can have the props out shot. So, let me go get this stripped, I'll take the top off this, get it all stripped out for you, cut all the cable ties etc off, and then I'll show you what's left in a minute. So as you can see we've taken it in bits, so we've stripped it down, so every, all the cable ties are off and everything, so the only thing holding this on is the four stack screws. One thing to note if you're doing something like this, make sure you know which way you stack goes in. This stack is not mounted the normal way, if you notice it's actually, that's the front, but it's mounted at an angle. So, another thing to be careful of. So let's strip the rest of this out and I'll bolt this into the other frame and I'll show it you then. So as you can see, the stack and the motors are in. The motors only just reached, I can tell you that much it was a struggle getting it just reached. You can see they're quite tight in there, but they're not going anywhere. I've double checked everything and it's all good. I've powered it up with the battery and everything's good. 
So the only thing that else I've done is I have mounted my antenna on the back here and I've taken off this. So this is the LED board. Now I could put it back on and mount it here somewhere, but to be totally honest with you, I'm not interested in LEDs and the buzzers I don't use, I tend to use the D-Shop beacons on here, so I won't be mounting that on. I put my battery strap upside here because it's going to be mounted on the top. Now I have got an issue and I may need to pause this build for a day to, or two till I get the part. But if you look, this board's got an all-in-one flight controller and VTX. And because of that, this does not reach where it needs to go. That should go here and it doesn't reach. So, I can't really extend this cable. So I might have to look at mounting it differently, but I don't really know how. Well, I could bring it up there and anyway, but I'm probably going to have to get another cable. I don't think I've got one, so I'm going to have to get another longer antenna cable, which is going to tip the build into another day or two. But as you can see, it's going to look good. I'm probably going to use this camera mount rather than the other one, just because it looks something different. Uh, and I quite like it. But as you can see, it's coming on well. The only thing we now need to do is mount the caddix into the force bolts here. Connect up the cables to your caddix. Now, on the caddix, he's still only he's got more wires coming off the caddix, but you still only need the three wires. You need a positive, a negative, and obviously a video feed. And that's going to mount there, and the caddix is going to go in the front. I think it's going to be quite a neat build when it's done. And it's nice that it's repurposed this unit. I'll probably keep the frame that I've taken off because I might build something else that you never know. Um, but for modern frames, it's heavy compared to modern frames. So. I'll be back in a bit with either a new one of these or I modified it. Okay, so this is like the outtakes of a video. I'm leaving this bit in. So, I obviously built it up. I found something to modify my antenna, which I'll show you in the next part of the video. And I mounted the camera, etc. I didn't power the camera up. I took it outside to fly it. And... Let's see if you can see... I'm going to get that to focus on that and it's not having it. I'll see if I can just focus it in. No, it doesn't do my thing to do it. So this motor, I don't know if you can see it there, has burnt out. It's actually set on fire. Luckily I was only doing a hover test, like I always do, but it actually set on fire. So. Here's a little tip for you, if you're going to do something like this, make sure you test the quad first. I obviously didn't, um, and the last time I flew this, I know I did crash it, but I didn't realise I crashed it badly, but obviously I did something wrong to it, so I've obviously caught the windings on the motor or something. So this motor's kaput. So, the next part of the video will show me, oh my god, let me focus back out again, I'll oh, leave it like that. Will show me fitting different, I'll have different motors on, so I'm going to fit 2306, 2400 Emax Ecos. They're quite cheap motors, about 40 quid for set of four. And to be fair, this is going to fly a lot better if it has a motor swap anyway. So we're going to fit them, and then I'll come back when it's all virtually finished and uh, go through some stuff with you, and I'll show you the Caddix. I'll run through a quick setup on the Caddix if you didn't know. And we'll be back soon. So this is it complete. So after the disaster of the motors, so all I've done differently is fitted these motors. These are the Emax Eco. Uh, 2306 2450 motors. Uh, I picked these up from I think it was Hobby RC and they came in delivered at 42 quid for set of four. Can't beat that, can you? Next day delivery. Uh, Hobby RC are in the UK, obviously. So you can see uh, the Tazi I've already had mounted in it. I've just wired it up now. I've test hovered this and I've quick test flight outside, just flip around the street a little bit. Flies absolutely super, so much better than it did previously on its previous um, model when it was the um, I can't remember, the Fury, Fury Stormer. So the only thing, remember I said I had an issue where I couldn't get this cable up? Well I had this, this was a little extension, this blue thing here, the little extension piece out for goggles. It came with the Menace patch I believe, never used it. So I've just put that in and then I've put the um, Emax Pagoda on the back. The only other thing I've done since I saw it last on the video is I fitted the LED board in here. And the reason I fitted the LED board and the buzzer 
is because uh, the flight controller, uh, sorry, the ESCs hasn't got the capacity to put it on. I can update the flashy ESCs, but I didn't bother. I just put the board, the board in. I probably will flash the ESCs in the future, in the future time. But at the minute of time, I just bang that on. Works fine. So I've got the buzzer on there. And it really is a nice flying quad. So if you remember what it used to look like when it was the Fury B, it, it's changed quite a lot. We, so the only thing now left on it really is we've got the Fury B ESC and the F4 flight controller and obviously the buzzer and stuff. We've obviously fitted the frame and we've fitted these new motors. These are Dell Pro 5040s on here. They seem smooth, as I say. I'll just give it a quick blast. But it does seem really nice. So it turned into a more expensive build than I hoped it would. But I've got a couple more coming up. And let me just show you what we're going to be doing on the channel. So we have these two. You'll recognise these straight away. So this is the Eosheen uh, Tyro 99 and the 79. Absolutely nothing wrong with the 79. But the, the 99 has issues. These motors aren't the best the wrong KV value really for what they are and the camera's awful so we're going to buy a new frame for this and we're going to put it into a new frame we're going to keep the ESC, the VTX, the flight controller we're going to keep all those but we're going to remove the camera and place it with Calix Vitale and we're going to replace these with the uh, Zingy motors for my flight and let's see how much difference there is in this, but I think it's going to make a massive difference to this. The biggest problem on this thing is definitely the camera and these motors are a bit of a weird size. On the 79, we're going to replace this, and the only thing we're really going to do in this is replace the frame. This isn't an actual standard 79, so it's got the Mamba um, mini stack in it. I've got two I've got two of these, something. I've got a stock one and this one. So on this one, we're going to swap the frame out, we're going to replace the camera with a Runcam 2 Nano, and that's about the only thing we're going to do. Keep the motors, going to keep everything else and just swap it onto a new frame. And I'm probably going to use a GEP RC frame to swap it onto and let's see how, how much of a difference this is. This is obviously not the same as a stock one because I've already replaced the board. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing on the channel. These will be coming up shortly and they're going to be cheaper builds. I think to do this, to swap this over, you're probably looking at about, I think the motors are about 40 quid and the frame I've got picked out for it, which I'll show you later, is 20. So you've got 60 quid for what we're going to do to this and the Vitel is 25, I think. But that camera is awful. This actually flies quite nice, but it hasn't got much power. So let's increase that. And as for this, I think it's a great little thing. If you don't own the Tyro 79, I'm not going to do a review of it, but I do own the original stock one, which is somewhere in here. So this is the stock 79. The difference with this one is obviously the props have been swapped, but apart from that, it's completely stock. And this is a great little thing. I've absolutely got a lot of time for these. I think if you, if you want to build something and you're into your first build, this is obviously a smaller build because obviously the everything's closer together where you solder so if you're not confident on soldering maybe this isn't the right one if you are decent at soldering or half decent in fact as long as you can make a good connection you make it strong and you're not catching anything else these are a great buy the camera on these isn't that bad at all it's not brilliant but it's not the best I can't remember what it is on these now what camera it does have in it's not the best but it's not bad and these for, you can pick these up as little as 62 quid now and you just need a receiver and you'll have a right nice little model so this is what's coming up on the channel with loads and stuff more so this is a bit of an update channel update as well I've got loads of stuff to show you I've got the flight test to do on the Eosheen um, I can't remember what it's called LAL5 that's coming up as 6S I've had a quick flight like that, trust me, it's amazing. This That thing cannot be made by Eosheen. And you've probably already seen some of the other flight footage. The other ones I need to do is I need to get the Nazgul 5 done. That's a fantastic thing. I haven't actually done a review on it, but it's a fantastic quad. I've got loads of other stuff coming up on the channel. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic day.